1774, I was elected to the First Continental Congress. We aired our opposition to taxation without representation. A declaration of rights and grievances were proclaimed. It was necessary to be citizens, not just colonists. Action, rather than just talk, was required. In 1775, I was elected the chief of the Continental Army. It signaled the start of the Revolutionary War against the British. Training and organizing the men became my first priority. A dangerous job as it meant treason. We achieved our aim 13 years after the Declaration of Independence. Thirteen years of war between the colonial states and Britain. It may seem that we knew what we were doing. <laughs> Establishing and governing a federal system of representation, a Senate, a Congress, and a President for executive coordination. Establishing a democracy, but so many had no vote. Well, I can tell you, it was action learning all the way. Doing and reviewing, trying and refining. I felt like the conductor of an orchestra that was playing out of tune. Defending our hard-won rights, trying to build a future, listening to the thunder of more violent revolutionaries in France, trying to foster prosperity, trying to build a nation of free immigrants. In my last will and testament, I made this clear. My slaves were to be declared free when my wife and I died. A personal decision that I hoped would lead the way. A way of making the Declaration of Independence a reality for all.